Okay there guys, so we ultimate fall here. Hey, how you doing over there, hey? How you doing where, wherever you are on this planet? So anyway, <clears throat> I was going through some of my uh, beautiful uh, vintage old magazines there, Life Magazine and whatnot, and looking at my all those beautiful marvelous old advertisements with their choice of colors and themes and artwork and photography. And I came across this um, this magazine here from uh, 1956, uh, Canadian Homes magazine, as I'll show you right here. If the camera will let me focus. There we go, Canadian Homes and Gardens, 1956. Doesn't there we go? And yeah, it's a 50 cents. So basically. The magazine was in okay shape, but as you can see, generally from the condition as it's had, this ad here that I am offering for sale, I mean, it's it's in good shape, but it's not great. I mean, you know, 1956. And so there's the cover right here. And among that monarch advertised, there's also, um, I have an Oldsmobile 88, that Tudo hardtop. And... Uh, I think that's it. No, yeah, I have a. Oh, I have also a gorgeous and even nicer 1956 uh, Buick Roadmaster convertible. So you see, this really wasn't for the people living in the ghettos and the poor here, but I mean, this is you know, Canadian homes and gardens. Look at this. This is all like, fancy. And you know, uh, would you like a tea, a spot of tea, you know, yeah, something like that. And uh, so, what's cool about this ad that I noticed today, also aside from this jazzy, fucking beautiful. Uh, so 50s yellow and black two-tone combination so wild uh, and you know for those of you who are not familiar with anything this is not a photo this is artwork this is a painting done so common back then to to paint uh, paint you know use paintings uh, commissioned by artists uh, for the advertising of cars or trucks or whatever instead of photography because photography was not uh, is not perfected yet uh, specifically um, color photography. Anyway, so, oh yeah, by the way, this is a part of downtown Montreal here in the background called Dominion Square. Now, if I don't sell this, I'm going to frame it, okay, because it's, it's beautiful. This, whatever, I don't care, I'm going to cut it all off. Oh yeah, in the back of this magazine cover here is a Coca-Cola ad from 1956, so if you buy this off me for, well, since it's, she's in rough shape, I'm going to say five bucks. Uh, then you're gonna get this Coke ad uh, either for two bucks, uh, you know, two bucks for this, two bucks for the other one, four bucks for the boat, or you know, uh, you're getting it basically for free. So uh, that's about it. Oh yeah, uh, shipping. I think in Canada, U.S. is somewhere around six bucks. Yeah, and let me just get a better shot of that there. Let's go back here. Yeah. And just to show you all, I'm not screwing around here. I don't screw around with my obsession and passion for classic cars. Let's just look at some random things I have here. Oh, here, look at this. I also have a nothing related to old cars here, but look, here's a Montreal Gazette. Here's a Montreal Gazette dated January, January 17th, 1991. I remember this, man, this morning. I said, man, I'm going to keep this. Yeah, they found that bastard, eh? So many years later, hiding in a fucking hole, man. Yeah, almost for a second I thought I was, uh, Bin Laden, but no, that's not what happened there. But anyway, so anyway, that's it. You get, you like what you see, uh, oh, wait a minute, I just wanted to do a quick show you about other things I have here. Uh, this is in my little, t my little office here. Got a little Cadillac tribute there. One of the beloved classics I have in various, uh, here's a Canadian 1954 ad from Ford parts. That's my old Buick LeSabre up there. Wish I had kept it, but hey, uh, you know, I mean, I am visually impaired. I never had a driver's license, so what's the point? Come on, focus. Call this. There we go. Here. You think that's it? I got even more than this. Okay, yeah, these three here, these Cadillacs, 
59 Cadillac's my second favorite car, if not first. So these guys here are not for sale. You'd have to offer me a shitload of money for me to sell these. Uh, yeah, same thing I guess for these, uh, this, uh, an 82 Ford Crown Victoria. Yeah, frame all this stuff myself. I frame, love to frame these ads for a few years now. Okay, not the Buick, I had that laminated, but anyway. And these beauties here are not for sale. And either of these. And that's about, oh yeah, that's about it. That's it. Hope you dug it. So yeah, you like that meteor? Ah, uh, meteor. <laughs> Meteor was the Ford equivalent that I sold also only in Canada, but cheaper. But no, if you like that Monarch ad, get back to me and uh, I'm very, uh, very trustworthy. Funny and odd, but trustworthy. I used to sell on eBay. Anyway, talk for now.